everybody welcome back to my channel so today's look is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here it's the makeup that I wore for Christmas and I mentioned it in my what I got for Christmas video and a lot of you said that you wanted to see it so I filmed it for you it's featuring the naked 3 palette and also some Mac pressed pigments and I know a lot of people either have those or want them or I don't know they're just gorgeous so if you want to learn how to get this look <laughs> just looked like a dick <laughs> if you want to learn how to get this look then just keep watching okay guys we're going to start off with foundation because our eyeshadow does have some glitter in it but it's not too much and i just prefer doing um foundation first so i'm going to mix the kat von d lock it tattoo foundation with a little bit of the l'oreal true match i've been loving mixing like every foundation with this um kat von d one i don't know why but you know i like it so I'm going to mix that up, put it on, and I'll be right back. I did concealer first or like after I did my eyes but we'll just do it after our eyes today so I'm first gonna prime I'm gonna use the MAC painterly paint pot which just looks like that I'm sure you've all seen it and I'm just gonna slap some of that on my eyes I'm also gonna take just a tiny no nah, I'm actually not gonna take it under the eye because once we put concealer down that will act as the primer First, we're gonna take limit from the naked 3 palette and we're gonna put it on a big fluffy brush and this is going to be our transition color in our crease so you're just going to buff that all into your crease and blend it out really nicely this is the way I usually start all of my looks Now that that is on, we're going to take Nooner with the fluffier side of the brush that it comes with. So Nooner is this matte, like, darker shade. And we're going to put that directly into the crease. This is going to be like a more, this is really going to define our crease, whereas the other color kind of just acted as a transition color. So we're going to put that right in the crease and then blend just a little. Blend into that uh, limit color we put down. I hope I'm focused. And then you can take that brush we used for limit and blend it together. And we want to keep this look very rounded, so we're going to take the Nooner color right to the inner corner and kind of round out the eye because we want the focus to be on kind of the center of the lid once we put those beautiful pigments down. Now with the other side of the dual ended brush that comes with the palette, we're gonna take Max Press Pigment in Deeply Dashing. This is a gorgeous like dark brown glittery shade. Oh my God, it's beautiful, but you do have to apply these wet. Like dry, they don't apply very well at all, but I guess that's because it's a pressed pigment. So I'm gonna take some Fix Plus and just spritz my brush with it Oh, it's locked. Okay, spritz my brush with it. And then I'm going to dip it into that pigment. And get quite a bit on there because you want it to be pretty intense. And we're just going to slide that all over the lid. Oh my god, this pigment is gorgeous. And you can take it right into the crease. We can blend that later with some more Nooner. And once again, keep it rounded like we said before. I actually am going to blend it a little right now. That's the beauty of this double dual ended brush. You can just flip it over and blend. And probably I'm going to take some more uh, Nooner in a little while. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to spritz my brush again and do the same on the other lid. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Maybe it's because it's the holidays. I don't know, but glitter lately has been my best friend. Ooh, ha la 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 la. 
that I'm just blending just a tad with these when you apply them wet it doesn't really matter if you press or swipe it still gets on there whoops took it out a little too far that's okay okay and now that that is on I'm actually going to do some blending with Nooner now so I'm going to go back in with the fluffy side of the brush get some Nooner on it that's such a funny name and then blend very softly I don't want to diminish all of that glitter but I want it to just transition very nicely oh there's a hair on my lip and then I'm going to take this brush again and blend 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 I'm going to take more limit and blend above the crease with it now I'm going to wipe off the shader side of this brush on a towel because we're going to use the same brush for the other pigment we're using and the other pigment we're using is max press pigment in day gleam and it's just um I read on the website it's like a press pigment in the shade NW30 I don't I mean, that's kind of weird that they're <laughs> giving it a name, like, of a foundation, but it's just, like, a nice golden beige, like, glittery color. It's really beautiful. So I'm, once again, going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. Ooh, that just got all over me. Oh, it's in my mouth. Okay, then I'm going to get it on the brush. And this is going to go just in the center. This is going to really brighten up the center of the lid. It doesn't change the color very much, but it just gives it gives the center of the lid a very nice pop. And for this one, I'm pressing because I don't want to like, I don't know, I don't want it to be too blended. I just want it to kind of transition into the other color. I'm also going to take a little more of deep lit, Deeply Dashing and put a little more on the inner and outer corners. Beautiful. I'm just going to blend everything with the other side of the dual ended brush. Now I'm going to take some gel liner. You guys know my favorite is the Maybelline Eye Studio one. And I'm going to put, I mean, I don't want to say a thin line, but not a very thick line. We're going to put a medium sized line of eyeliner on the top lid. Okay guys, now I'm going to put on my concealer. I used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And I'm just gonna put that on with my fingers and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Oh my God, I'm so pissed. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to set everything with my Ben Nye powder that's in a <laughs> toothpick container. But, you know, YOLO, right? I'm going to take a shader brush and I'm going to take Strange, which is the highlight shade in the palette. And I'm just going to put that on my inner corner. And under my eye, I'm going to take this sh same like smudgy brush and I'm going to take a uh, deeply dashing. And I'm going to apply this dry just because I don't really want to put wet shadows under my eye. So I'm going to put deeply dashing all down here. Ooh. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to take limit. And I'm going to blend out that deeply dashing down there. Kind of smoke it out. Now I'm going to put on some Better Than Sex Mascara and some Cream 747L Lashes. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I also did my brows because I filmed a brow routine. 
but I will link that down below when it's available because I'm pretty sure I'm putting this one up before that one. So anyway, now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm first going to contour with this Hoola bronzer and the brush that it comes with, which is this weird little like flat brush. I'm going to just take that in the hollows of my cheek. I'm going to keep it more towards the back of my cheek. Like don't take it in too far. And I put that this I put it down this way and then I blend it out like up and down. Oh man, I'm too zoomed out. Hold on. Okay, that's better. My That's my brother. Okay. Oh my god, he's so annoying. I hope he knows I'm putting this in. Like, it's your fault for being an idiot. Now I'm taking it up here. I don't even know what he's doing. Oh my god, I need to move out. Are you kidding? I mean, whatever. He wants to be an idiot. It's gonna be in the video. You would think that was like my 12 year old brother, but he's actually 24 years old. <sighs> my life. Anyway, now I'm going to think the Rockator blush with this angled blush brush and put that on my cheeks. Ray, shut up! I don't even know what he's doing. Like, why do you have to yell so loud? It's fucking two o'clock in the afternoon. What is so exciting at two o'clock in the afternoon? Anyway, and then for highlight, I'm using What's Up by Benefit. I'm just going to take it. I'm actually going to try it on a brush. I don't think I've ever done that. Ooh. Oh, my God. I like it so much more. It's easier, too. Ooh, nice. I don't like the angle that this camera's at right now, but I don't want to fix it. I'm having a lot of problems right now whatever okay and then for lips i'm going to line them in jordana's rock and rose lip liner i can't actually remember the lips i wore on christmas but whatever i'm almost positive i wore this stuff but i can't be too sure i was in such a rush on christmas like literally i was still getting ready with guests in my room like they were watching me get ready and then I'm using um, Obsessed Urban Decay Lipstick. Mm. I love this lipstick so on. It's like the perfect pink. Mm -hmm. And then Eclair Lip Gloss. I also love this lip gloss. It's awesome. I feel like I've been doing the same lip in every tutorial, but YOLO, right? Okay. Now I'm going to just spritz my face with some Fix Plus. Every time I do that, I get it in my mouth. I had extensions in on Christmas, but my extensions have been annoying me. And I actually hate Luxie hair. I'm never, ever, ever buying from Luxie hair again. Sorry if you like Luxie, but my extensions... Anyway, like I was saying, Luxie hair is annoying. It sheds too much. It's like not the curls fall out it's like not very good hair it gets frizzy like i don't like it next pair of extensions i try are probably going to either be bellamy or luxury for princess so if either of you companies want to holla at a sister then that would be great because i'm most likely going to love you as opposed to luxie because they suck oh my god people are honking outside i'm going on a rant this is bad my light's about to die so let's get this finished up okay guys this is it for the final look i hope you liked it i know on christmas and even like afterward i just kept thinking about this look because i thought it was so pretty and i don't mean to brag but i'm really proud of my skills right now mm -mm -mm. <sighs> anyway i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys